Hello, I'm Dr. Susanna Self. I'm a composer and I'm so excited that Maria Marchand is going to be premiering my piece Quiltscape 3 uh, next Monday on the 2nd of November at 7pm from Blutner's Piano Studios. It's an incredible privilege as a composer to have such a virtuosic pianist at hand. And I met Maria at a concert in 2017, uh, where I was presenting some of my music from my opera, Quilt Song. And Maria was playing some incredibly virtuosic music. And I thought, wouldn't it be amazing to compose a piece for her? At the time, she was actually uh, playing some Liszt variations on Wagner. And I thought, well, that's also a great idea to perhaps promote some of the thematic material from my opera. And so I got to work. And the reason it's called Quiltscape 3 is because my opera is called Quilt Song. And as I composed the opera... I developed a methodology of composition which relates to the way in which quilting is made and constructed. And I mean in particular that to make a quilt, you have to have a template, a kind of structure. But after that point, anything goes in terms of material. So you can juxtapose uh, one really zany colour or texture up against another. And I found this technique of composition very helpful uh, for my piece, Quilt Song, which was an opera uh, developing the themes of freedom fighters, ranging from Abraham Lincoln through to Rosa Parks and to Joe Cox, the MP from Britain. So, I really wanted to create an opera that promoted diversity and I felt that the metaphor of a quilt really could contain this idea. So one of the ways in which I compose an opera is to actually go and compose a series of instrumental pieces first because I feel it's so important that an opera has really great music and as soon as you start composing to text, uh, one is too easily led by the text. And in some ways, I feel then the orchestra can get left behind. And so I really like to put them at the forefront of my composition. And so I'd been developing uh, a series of quiltscapes. So Quiltscape 2, for example, was composed for the Birmingham Contemporary Music Group. And they played uh, about an eight minute piece, which then became two very important sections in the opera. And I then floated on top of that music, the vocal lines. In Maria's case, Quiltscape 3 is entirely a piece um, solely for her, where I took some of the material that I developed for the three guitars who are in the opera, Quilt Song, and I took little fragments of the music and then developed it. So when you hear the piece, it starts quite tonally, um, which particularly I think suits guitars, three guitars playing together. But very quickly that begins to disintegrate and wander off into a sort of atonal um, stupor, I would almost say. And I, it's almost that middle section of Quiltscape 3 where there are some quite jazzy chords and a feeling of improvisation that I really feel it takes off. And then the end of the piece uh, is a, a resumption of the original material, but in a far more bombastic way. And I think at that time, I was thinking about the tintabulations of cathedral bells, uh, in particular during my performing career as an opera singer. I sang at uh, Strasbourg for many years, and 
I used to rent a little apartment just underneath the cathedral. So I heard these tintabulations on many occasions and it struck me as a, a, a really beautiful sound, a cacophonous sound. So I think it also really suits Maria's personality. The end is forte for the last minute, I think. There's no contrast. It's just really going for it. Well, I'm just so excited um, to hear Maria play this next Monday at 7pm on the 2nd of November at Blutner's Piano Studios. And I do hope you'll join in with the live broadcast because she really can make music sing. And I just want to say a big thank you to Maria for undertaking this virtuosic project. I know it's going to be wonderful. Thank you.